Thank you for calling Tiffany Company Sherway Gardens. Agents, we can't manage your call. Hello? Hello? What kind of work do you do? Hello? Yes. I want you to answer my question. My question is, what kind of work do you do? Sorry, I don't understand the question. Do you, do you speak English? I do speak English. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, I can. What kind of work do you do? you to speak slowly, speak clearly, so that I can understand you. Oh, of course. Sorry, you're calling Tiffany Company at the Sherway Gardens location. How can yes. I listen? Listen to me. I'm speaking. When you're here, I ask questions, you answer them. Unless I'm looking at you for an answer, do not speak. Do we understand each other? Sorry, I don't believe we do. Why? Why? Merci d'avoir appelé Stéphanie. Pendant les cas, comment puis-je vous renseigner? Who are you? My name is Carl. Who is this? I beg your pardon? Who is this? How may I help you today? Okay. Listen to me. I'm speaking. When you're here, I ask questions, you answer them. Unless I'm looking at you for an answer, do not speak. Do we understand each other? Yes. Good. Do you have a television set? No, I don't. Why? I might have uh, misunderstood your question. You, would you mind repeating it, just in case? Do you have a television set? Uh, no, I don't have a television, I'm afraid. Why? Well, because I simply don't need one, madame. Perfect. Which one of the geniuses in your office told him that his $800 didn't buy representation on May 5th? I'm afraid I wouldn't be able to tell, madame. Why? I, I'm not at the office, I'm afraid. I'm in one of our stores. We've got many across Canada. Of course. What kind of work do you do? I'm a sales professional at the store in Montreal, madame. Of course. Do you go to school? I beg your pardon? Do you go to school? No, I do not, madame. Why? Well, because I'm done with school, madame. I'm working full time. Where? At Tiffany. Good. Are you a licensed daycare provider? I'm not sure I understand what that means. Are you a licensed daycare provider? No, I'm not. I'm 10 steps ahead of you. I'm a lot older than you are. You may be as smart as I am when you get to be my age, but you're not there now. So when I ask you a question, you'll give me an answer. Yes. How old are you? That's some information I'd rather not give over the phone, madame. Why? Because I find this a bit personal. It's not something I need to state. That's baloney. It doesn't make sense. Well, I understand, madame, but it is something that is personal to me. I'd rather not state my age. When I ask you a question, you have to tell me the truth, okay? I'm telling you the truth, madame. What do you want? I simply want to know what you're looking for, madame. You've called me. Do I look like I need help from you? No, you do not. 
Oh, I don't believe that's true. I think that you're making up a good story. Well, madam, I don't think there's anything uh, further I can do for you today. No, 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 no. Lovely. So on this, I bid you a farewell and have a lovely day, madam. No, 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 no. How many children do you have? That's something I'm not going to state over the phone, madam. What kind of work does your mother do? Is there anything I can do regarding what I do as a business with Tiffany that can help you today? Yes! Yes. Then what is it I can do for you today? Did you work full time? I would rather not say this information, madam. Who paid the rent on your apartment? I beg your pardon? Who paid the rent on your apartment? I think I would rather not conduct this conversation any longer, madam. I think I may not help you any further. Why? Because there is nothing I can do for you, I'm afraid, at my level. That's right. Well, thank you, madam. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.